Back in October 2024, I made a video about Luma AI Dream Machine. But since then, a lot has changed. Dream Machine has evolved into something far beyond an AI video generator. It is now a full-on creative tool that helps you bring your ideas into reality. Now, since the last update, it has become even better with something like an AI image generator that is called Photon. It has even faster generation times. You can create consistent characters now by putting them in as a reference. And you have the ability to create your own board that you can easily share with others. So whether you are a filmmaker, an editor, or you just simply want to brainstorm with your creative ideas, this tool has something for you. Now, the best thing is, if you want to try this out yourself, then stick around to the end of the video where I will review how you can get a 50% discount for the first two months of your subscription. Now let's dive into Dream Machine and let me show you how you can get started. So after logging in, this is the page that you will see. So here you can find all of your boards. These are basically storing all of your IDs and organizing them into these little folders, but they call them boards. Now, if you go over to the left-hand side, then here you can find all of your IDs. So everything that you have generated will be stored down here. If you want to see the best practices of Luma, then you go to documentation and here you can get tips on how to get started. If you need some video tutorials, then you click right here. But hopefully after watching this video, you won't need any. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the home screen. Then we're gonna click on the plus icon and here we can import or prompt. You have these IDs if you just want to get started with something. So for example, you can click on this and this will generate an image or a video for you. You can select the aspect ratio, what you want right here. But for this, we're gonna do an image and now we click on send. So now we have these four different images of a woman that is standing in New York and it's illuminated by Bodega Lights. Now, if you want to change anything of that, then Dream Machine basically becomes your creative assistant that lets you change up the prompt easily. So anything that you haven't thought of before, you can just change it right here. So let's say, for example, instead of a woman, I want to do a dancer. Now it generates that same image, but with a dancer. If we go back to this, we can see our prompt. We can also do it in a different city. We can also change the lighting. So you can see that it's basically changing these subjects and that it is giving you new inspiration for your ideas. So if we go back to this, then here we can see somewhat of a dancer on the screen. Now, if we go back and we try one of our own prompts, so I have one of my prompts right here, which is a cinematic scene of a purple crystal-like landscape with vibrant colors. So what I'm gonna do is I want to have it 16 by nine, I want to use images, and now I'm gonna hit send. Now it gives us these four different images that we can use. Now, before I show you how to turn those into video or how to use the video prompter, I basically want to dive in a little bit deeper into the image generation part because there is a lot to this. And if you do this correctly, then you can create some awesome things. So right here, we have five different options. The first one is to modify it. So what we do here is we take this image, but now we can, for example, say to change the color of the crystals to red. So now it's gonna change those colors of the crystals to a different color. Now that's not the only way you can do this. If we go up again, we see here in our prompting screen, then we can change this of purple to a different color. So let's, for example, do sapphire. Now it makes not the same images, but different images with a sapphire crystal-like landscape. We can change any of this. For example, we can also do, if we go back to purple-like, we can do like an iceberg. We can do something like a moonscape, a cityscape. We can change vibrant to monochrome. So this gives you a lot of different options and basically if you keep on going and changing this it might give you some good results so this is great for artists that are creating something and basically are using this to further brainstorm their ideas now if you see something that you like then you can also create more like this now it will use that image and it will create more similar images like this for example If you want to turn this into a video, then we're going to click on make a video. Now it's going to use that frame and we can either type in our prompt right now or we can just send it straight like this. The great thing is it gives you two videos instead of one. So you can choose which one you like the most. So whether it is this one or this one, for example, my pick would be this one. 
Now let's go back again and try something else. So we're gonna click the plus icon and here I'm gonna enter my prompt, a black coffee mug that looks futuristic. So with this, you also get a lot of options. So if you are a product designer, for example, then this might be a great way to get some inspiration to make your designs. Now we get four different images. Let's say you don't like them, then you simply click on show more. You can also change the prompt. Let's say, for example, we want to do a Chrome. We want to do something else than a coffee mug. We want to do a espresso cup. And we want to change maybe even our prompt. So let's go back to this one to not futuristic, but cyberpunk. So now we just wait for this and we're already getting the results. So here we have a cool Chrome looking mug. Then here we have our espresso futuristic mug. And then here again, we have our cyberpunk mug. Now, if you like any of these, then you can also modify them to change them. So for example, let's do this one. We're gonna click on modify. And now I'm gonna type in, add in the text 79C on the mug. So now it basically takes that image and then you can modify it to make it more look like your preference. So for example, this one looks quite cool. So what I wanna do now is wanna click on make video. Then I wanna type in camera. And here we have all the different options of what we can do with it. So for this one, as it is a product, I want it to orbit to the right side. So we're gonna hit enter. And now our video looks like this. Besides that, you can use the brainstorm feature. If you click on this, it can give you different ideas of other things that you can try it out with. So let's do, for example, a Blade Runner inspired neon glow reflecting off chrome services, cyberpunk cityscape. Now we're just gonna hit enter. And it made that entire prompt for us, so we didn't have to do any thinking to this, but it is a cool idea. So I want, kinda wanna see what happens out of this. So one generation failed, which sometimes can happen, but now we got this one, and this one looks really, really cool. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into video generation. So for this, I'm gonna do a chicken that is walking on a farm. Then we're gonna do video, and now let's see what we got. Now with video, it works exactly the same. So here you can also change like something like anime. You can even do something like pixel art and it will make a new video and not an image. But you can also change up like the chicken to something like a duck, for example. You can make the chicken not walk on a farm, but maybe like in the jungle. And now it will give you some new videos. So this pixel art looking chicken looks pretty awesome to me. We even have this chicken right here. We have it in all of these different styles. We have ducks, we have a chicken in the jungle. And in generally, it's really, really good. For character reference, if we click on character, then you can see it's using this image right here. Then you have to type in add character. And now you can make that character wear a red jacket. So as you can see, we have that same character and it looks pretty good. Now let's try this out with some of our own images. So I'm gonna select all of them. Then I'm gonna drop them in there. And now we have a reference, then we type in add character, and then we say cartoon wearing a black shirt. So that looks pretty awesome. It took all of my images and made it into something like this, which looks pretty cool. So you can try this out yourself with even your own images, if you have them, and then you can turn them into like a cartoon-like character. And you can even change your clothes, you can change your hairstyle, you can change the situation you're in, you can try all of that. Next up, keyframes. I have this image right here, and then I have a similar image right here, and I can turn those images into a video just by inserting them in my keyframes. So I'm gonna select my image right here. So this will be my first one. Then I'm gonna select the second one, and that will be this one. Now I use them as keyframes, and now I'm just gonna let them do its thing. So I'm not gonna prompt it into anything, but you could, for example, say something like transition it or make it fade in or do a specific camera motion. But let's see what it makes out of this. So we have these two videos. This one kind of is like a trippy dream and it looks really, really cool. Um, then we have this one and this one extends it into the green space there. Now, what you can do here is you can even like extend it now you're gonna just send it and now it's gonna extend your video you can even prompt it with another image and then you can turn it into something else making it an even longer video or video now is even longer and even trippier and it looks amazing 
So we have this eight second clip and then we also have this eight second clip. So yeah, see for yourself which one you like the most. Now besides that, you can also turn your images into a looping video. So if you just type in loop, we can already have a loop right there, but if you type in loop or you prompt it that way, then it will give you that cool looking loop that Luma always have hot. Now, if you want to try this out yourself, then there are a few different plans available. You have the free plan, which gives you limited usage. Then you have the light plan, the plus plan, and you also have the unlimited plan, which is recommended for power users. So you can see for yourself which one you like the most. I like either the plus or the unlimited one when I have a lot of projects going on. Now, if you want to get a 50% discount for the first two months of your plan, then make sure to use the code that is on the screen right now and you will get that extra discount. So this only applies for the first two months, but it is a huge discount compared to having like this unlimited plan, for example. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, then click the video that's on the screen now. If you're still around to the end, then make sure to subscribe also.